Hello everyone. Uh, today we talk about the chapter five. It's about the circulatory system, or in Thai we call, the bob. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No heat. Basically, when you learn from the Ashton chapter about the digestive system, when you eat the food into your body here, the food will break into the smaller molecules we call nutrients, and after and after that. The nutrient will be absorbed into the blood vessels, and after that, they distribute the nutrient here to all cells in your body. So the main role of the circulatory system is to transport the digested food to all uh, body cells, and after that, they also remove the waste product from the cells to remove in the different uh, body system. For example, the waste product like uh, composed of nitrogens, we will remove it at the kidney. But if it is carbon dioxide or gas here, it will be removed at the respiratory systems. And we have made uh, two types of the circulatory system. The first one we call closed circulatory systems, okay, or ระบบหมุนเวียนเลือดแบบปิด and open circulatory system. This is ระบบหมุนเวียนเลือดแบบเปิด for the circulatory system. Closed circulatory system. The blood is always inside the blood vessels or not l e a and the blood here always flows from the arteries to the vein. Okay, and this character here occur in the amphibians, even the mammals and reptiles, the aquatic animals like a, a fish like this and aves or the bird. Okay, the second type. We call open circulatory system. For the open circulatory system, the blood flow here will flow from the blood vessels, but it will be inside the space that get open inside the body, and it is not blood vessels. This one so called the hemocele. So the hemocele come from the root of the word hemo, come from the meanings of the word blood. Okay, and seal mean the cavity. So it means that the cavity that fill with blood. Okay. And the liquid inside that hemocells, they become the mixture between two things. It is the blood and the lymph, okay? Or in Thai we call น้ำเหลือง So we combine the word together. So we use the term hemo, the hemo lymph. And the nu nutrients and the oxygen gas here also transported to the space, come from the space, okay? To the body cells. The space here, in compare to the closed circulatory system. Uh, they don't have the capillaries. Okay, so the blood here uh, exchange the gas here through the body cavity, through the different part of the body to the body cells. So this system here occur in the insects, the shrimp, the crab, the millipedes, or even the centipedes. Okay, and this is show you a diagram of the closed circulatory system and the open circulatory system. For the grasshopper, you will see that they have the blood here. And after that, when the blood blood flow and pass to the heart here, they will enter into the small space here, inside the bodies. Okay, we call the hemocells. And after that, the liquid here named as the hemolymph will exchange the chemicals between the walls of the hemo hemocells to the body cells. But in compare to the earthworm, the blood flow from the heart here, and after that, they pass to the artery. And distribute into the capillary, the smaller veins or c e l l u l o i d and after the chemical here exchange between the walls and the cells, and after that the blood here will flow back to the vein and go back to the heart again. So you will see that for uh, for the closed circulatory systems of the earthworm here, they can exchange the uh, chemicals at the Small blood vessels like a capillary, and the blood always be inside the uh, blood vessels. Okay, and this is a drawing of a diagram. Uh, the same way here, you will see this is capillaries, and this is the hemocells. Okay, like this. For the hemocell here, represent in the open circulatory system, but the closed here for the closed circulatory system, it is capillaries. And this is the examples of the the animals, and the, they they represents uh, the others pattern. Basically, the 
n i d a r i a n it is animal with the sting okay for example the jellyfish like this or l i l y moon jelly like this okay they don't have the circulatory system so the substances or the chemical here will pass to the walls of the of the uh, body the body wall like this but sometimes they can have the, the canals the small canal we call circular canals and the radial canals like this the circular canals is here and the radial canals is here used for uh, transport the chemicals that um, between the central part of the body or to the here the outer part of the body and the panaria l u g i s i a the flatworm okay the flatworm here they don't have the uh, blood uh, the circular circulatory systems because the body become like a very thin and very small body so they don't need the circulatory system so the chemical here can pass through the walls of the body like this the earthworm okay composed of accessory heart with five aortic arch this one this pack it is the group of the accessory heart okay they act like a ring and they have five ring structure here We call accessory heart, and this is a uh, capillary used for exchanging the chemicals, okay, like a food and a waste product. And the heart here connect with the upper blood vessels. We call dorsal blood vessels, and the lower one here is the ventral blood vessels, okay. And they use the capillary, this one, to distribute the chemicals, okay, between the dorsal and ventral blood vessels, okay. So. It is place where the nutrient get exchanged to the body cells, and the blood component here contain colorless body cells like this, no colors, but the plasma or even nam l u t here contain the red pigment to carry the oxygen gas. In compared to the mammal blood here, the red pigment is inside the cells, but the plasma here become clear, and no colors. Okay, this is one thing dif different between the blood of the Uh, earthworm and the blood of the mammals, and this is the diagram of the the earthworm. Here, this is the anterior part of the n a r and this is posterior part of the o r a n lung. So the uh, aortic arch here is close to the anterior part. Okay, and you can see here we have the uh, capillaries here along the body segment. Let us q u i t Okay, s q u i t composed of three s s a uh, three heart, uh, one systemic heart, the central heart, this this one, okay, and two gill heart, the heart at the gill, here yeah, this one, okay, and we name uh we name it we name the type of the blood into two names, the first one is his deoxygenated blood, it is blood that have high O2 content, and low O2 content, and oxygenated blood here. As a low carbon dioxide content and high oxygen content in high, so use use the term uh, deoxygenated blood for l e a d d a m and d e sorry deoxygenated blood for l e a d d a m and oxygenated blood for l e a d d a m and uh, the two gill heart here obtain they get the deoxygenated blood from the body, okay, and send it to the gill, so the gill exchange up. Uh, Change the the blood condition from the deoxygenated blood to oxygenated blood, and after that the systemic heart here get the oxygenated blood from the gill to the body. Okay, so this one is just like, uh, this is the body. Okay, the blood flows to the gill heart this way, and after that here, the 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 pump into the gill this way and go back to the systemic heart and go back to the body again. And the body is of the squid here, uh, separated into the left side and right side. Okay, so so we have the here binary symmetry like this, two part. Okay, and here we have the gill heart here, the location, this one, and they have gill here, and this is this is the heart. Okay, this way, and another picture here represent the gill and the gill heart here. The systemic heart here. Okay, but if we draw the pattern of the blood flow from a simple like a body pump to the gill heart like this, okay, and pump to the gill and pump back to the 
systemic heart like this and pump to the body like this and if we simplify a diagram here and turn to very simplified diagram you will see that the blood will flow, flow and pass through the systemic heart just only one time to complete the cycle okay just one time only one time Next one, fish. Okay, the circulatory system of the fish represent single circulatory system. Means the blood that do pa pass through the heart, just only one time to complete the cycle. Okay. And the blood here. The characters of the fish heart contain two chambers. The upper chamber here we name it as the atrium. And the lower chamber we name it as the ventricle okay and here for the atrium here the upper atrium and the lower ventricle here contain the blood with low oxygen content so it is a deoxygenated blood or we can call it dumb so in order to remember the characters of the blood that flow into the uh, fish heart we rem remember the word as the pla pen sat jai dam because the word jai dam here means deoxygenated the oxygenated blood inside the uh, heart of the fish. Okay, this one, the oxygenated blood. So when we draw the diagram here, oh, let's see the diagram here. Uh, this is the heart. Okay, the blue color represents the deoxygenated blood. So the blood will flow this way into the atrium. Okay, and through the ventricle this way. To the ventricles this is this way and pump to the gill this is a set of the gill and after the gill we change the deoxygenated blood into the oxygenated blood and go to the body okay and after they go back to the heart again okay and next one amphibian for the amphibian here the heart contains two atria and one ventricle Okay, the heart receives the oxygenated blood from the skin and lung. The key character is the skin. Amphibian contain the property to have the skin to exchange uh, with gas. Okay, and they shake, uh, return the deoxygenated blood to the body. And the deoxygenated blood and oxygenated blood here we mix together at the lower chamber so we can have the mixed mix blood. Okay, in a lower chamber. Uh, so the system of the amphibian here, we have palmocutaneous circuit. The word palmocutaneous circuit means the circuit that contains two organs that exchange the gas. It is the lung and the skin. The cutaneous means the skin and the palmo means the, the lung. Okay, so the blood flow from the body this way and go to the atrium. And here go to the ventricles and get mixed together with the oxygenated blood and goes to the lung okay and change it into the oxygenated blood and go back okay to the atrium again and go to the ventricles and get mixed and here pump to the body this way so the systemic capillaries mean the body circuit okay so if you draw the same here that diagram you will see that the blood here become mixed together in the ventricle here they have one ventricles but two uh, atria and pump this way and go to the lung and go to the skin this way and pump together here go back to this one and here from the blood from the body here get pumped to the atrium and get mixed and go back this way so this part will be the system systemic circuit this part is palmocutaneous circuit Reptile. Okay, for the reptile here, you need to know more terms. Uh, for the right atrium, in short, we use RA, and the right ventricle here, we use the term RV, and the LA here is the left atrium, and the LV here is the left ventricles. Okay, so the heart contains two atria and two ventricles. Okay, the blood from the RA right atrium here receives the deoxygenated blood from the body and send it to the right ventricles and the left atrium here receives the de 
sorry oxygenated blood from the lung and send it back to the left ventricles okay and the deoxygenated blood here from the right atrium here get mixed together with the oxygenated blood from the left atrium okay left atrium means this way and this one go to this one get mixed together okay, get mixed in here and the mixed blood here is separated and send it to the blood send the blood to the lung by the a others and the pulmonary artery okay uh two more term here we have the term a aorta. the term a aorta here means the blood vessel that send the blood back to the to the body with this one we call a aorta. and the blood here that send the blood vessel that send the blood here mix blood to the lung we call pulmonary artery this way but this diagram here you have one exception for the, the a, a type of the reptile that is crocodile the crocodile already have the the septum the septum means the tissue that separate between left and right is already complete and enclosed but the other type of the reptile here they get old they have the opening like this so the butt can get mixed together and this is a simpler diagram uh, diagram here you will see Part, the division between the, the the septum here so they can get exchange between them so the blood flow from the body as a deoxygenated blood to the right atrium and they pass the blood into the right ventricles and the blood oxygenated blood from the left atrium mixed with the ox, uh, deoxygenated blood to get mixed blood in here so the mixed blood here get pumped into two ways the first one pump, pump to the lung and the second one pump to the body this way okay and the and the mixed part here that goes to the lung here get exchange the gas and turn into the oxygenated blood and go back to the left atrium the mammals the mammal here contain the heart contain two atria and two ventricles here one two eight two atria and two ventricles and you already have the complete septum okay the right atrium here get the deoxygenated blood from the body and send it to the right ventricles and the left atrium here get the oxygenated blood from the lung and send it to the left ventricles okay the blood here from the right part okay that is separated from the left side okay so the blood here is not mixed together okay this one come from the body here and go to the lung without mixing okay and the blood from the lung here the ox the oxygenate the oxygenated blood here go back to the atrium again and go to the ventricles again and go back to the body again this one is not lung supposed to be body okay so this one thing that's quite different between reptile and mammal and bird Okay, this bird mammal. Okay, and this is a sim simple diagram here. The blood, the deoxygenated blood from the body here, go back to the right atrium and go to the right ventricles. Okay, and go back to the lung here. Okay, the lung change the deoxygenated blood into the oxygenated blood. Here and go back to the left atrium and red atrium send it to the left ventricles and left ventricles send the blood here to the body this way thank you